Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Throw. In this video, I'm going to be going over on how to make sure that your AI is following you. And for the example, for this tutorial, I'll be using the full sample and I'll be using this ACF Melee Companion AI to make sure that it just follows my character. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to my player controller class, double click on it to open up the blueprint editor. And over here, you'll see this companions component. And I'll just make sure that my AI class BP is set to my ACF melee companion. And when you open up your companions to component on the right in details, you're going to scroll down and make sure that combat team is set to team one or whatever team you are on. And the default AI state is set to follow lead actor which is going to be you if you're summoning it. And on spawn, I basically just want to do AI to spawn and set it as my ACF melee companion BP in the AI class. And I can do something like can spawn multiple times if you want more than one AI and so on. So I'll save that. And then the next thing I want to check is in my ultimate character blueprint, or actually I'm using the UE4 one. So when I open my ultimate player UE4, I'm just calling this debug key G trigger action actions dot spell dot summon. And if you go over to your actions component, you can see that there is a spell that you cast for summoning. So when I go to my action set, you're going to see that there's an actions dot spells dot summon and it uses the AC of summon action and it asks you which companion to summon class. And in this case, I'm just summoning a melee companion and so on. Um, before it said action cost 40 mana, but I got rid of that. And yeah, you can do the same. And now I'm just going to go over to that ACF melee companion and open this guy up. And I'll scroll down to where it says AI controller class. Make sure it's selected to the ACF melee comp AI controller BP. And then click on this five button to open up this controller BP. And I'm just going to go over the settings a little bit. So there are a few, let me open the full blueprint. So there are a few stuff in the behaviors and all that. So if I were to scroll down, you're going to see that under my commands manager comp, there's an AI command stay there, AI command attack my target and an AI command to follow me. And you can just set these options here, what their default state will be, which is going to be wait and follow lead actor for this one and so on. And yeah, so whenever I whistle, it'll use the AI command follow me and it'll just follow me as the lead actor. And the default state for my ACF melee companion is gonna be set to follow lead actor. So now if I were to just click play and summon this AI. Yeah, so he's just gonna follow me everywhere I go. And if I reach a certain distance, he'll probably, he'll kind of wake up and be like, oh snap, I gotta go follow this guy. Uh, another thing is that if you were to go over to your character, double click into your player character. If I keep opening until I get to my ACF full player BP, you can set up your spawn group like this so that if you were to whistle, you can set a spawn group if the target will be get component by class. And then you would want to choose that ACF component group AI component and get your ACF player controller because in the player controller, we did set up that. Yeah, in our ACF player controller, we did set up this ACF melee companion BP. But that is pretty, that is the same thing as just going to your action set and just setting it to companion to summon class, which is this ACF melee companion BP. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.